The telecom industry is heating up with a business battle rarely seen in India. Facing off with Reliance Industries CMD Mukesh Ambani is maverick billionaire Elon Musk. The two are pushing for different approaches for the distribution of broadband spectrum. The Reliance boss has even written to Telecom Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya about it. So why are Mukesh Ambani and Elon Musk feuding over Spectrum? News 9 Plus decodes. The battle of the billionaires is brewing. This time around, the fighting is happening in the telecom arena. Musk's Starlink backs an administrative allocation, while Ambani is arguing for an auction process. In a recent letter to Sindhya, Mukesh Ambani, Asia's richest man, has said that the decision by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, or TRI, to allocate home satellite broadband spectrum instead of auctioning it off was incorrectly concluded, according to Reuters. The Reliance industry's top honcho avers that an auction is essential for a level playing field. How has Elon Musk reacted to Ambani's letter? The billionaire took to X and said that the auction of the spectrum would be an unprecedented move. He added that the decision for allocation of spectrum is in line with the guidelines of the International Telecommunication Unit. Now, India is a member and signatory of ITU. According to the Agency for Digital Technology, satellite spectrum is a natural resource and must be allocated efficiently and economically. So why are Musk and other global companies keen on spectrum allocation? Global telecom players believe administrative allocation will allow for multiple players to share the space. In comparison, the auction will mean a single monopolistic operator. Allocation will also push for a better, more competitive market, offering varied choices to the customer. The consumers will also have lower costs. Musk is especially personally invested since he is looking to bring Starlink to India. How has Tri reacted to Ambani's letter? The regulator claimed that it was following appropriate procedure. They invited Reliance to offer its observation and give feedback. The regulator is currently in the middle of consultation. The final decision will be made by the government after considering Tri's recommendations. The decision is crucial, as the telecom industry is expected to grow by nearly 30% annually. So who will win the spectrum war? What do you think?